Hey, Robert with Zenfolio here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get started selling from your galleries. In your Zenfolio account, click on the selling icon in the left hand side, and then click on settings. The first thing you'll need to do is click connect to Stripe and follow the instructions to set up your account. Stripe is our nationally acclaimed PCI compliant payment processor. There is no charge for setup and no monthly fee. Make sure that you link Stripe to the bank account that you wish to have your profits deposited into. Once your account is connected, you can change your payment processing name if you would like. This is the name that will appear on your client's bank statements. Next, click on price list. Then click create price list. Select the shoot type that you are creating this price list for. And now you can choose to start with a pre-populated price list containing some of the commonly sold products or a blank price list and start completely from scratch. If you would like to rename your price list, you can do that here. Even though packages are the first option that you see, I recommend adding a la carte items to your price list first. That way you have prices to reference when you're creating your packages. So let's go ahead and click Add Product. Starting with digital downloads, here you have the option to include individual image downloads in their original resolution, or you can choose one of our lower resolution options and Zenfolio will downsize your images for you. You also have the option to include the entire gallery as a digital download as well. Once you have made your selections and set the selling price, click Add. Now let's add some print products. Starting with large prints, select the sizes that you want to offer. Be sure to scroll down for paper types and other options. Once you have the product selected, click Save. Under Itemized Pricing, you can do a bulk markup or manually set your prices. You can also see the product cost as well. Once you're done with your pricing, click Add. You can add other print sizes by clicking on Add Product, choosing a product category, and then repeating the previous steps. Now, let's go ahead and create a package. First, enter the name of your package, then click Add Products. Now, choose a product category. We're going to start off with digital downloads. Once you have made your selections, click Save. Next, let's add some print products to this package. Select a print size category, and then select the print sizes you wish to include in the package. Be sure to scroll down and view additional options, then click Add. To add another print size, just repeat the same steps. Once you have added all of the desired products to your package, you can adjust the quantity of the products you have added if you need to. Then it's time to set the package value and selling price. The selling price is what your clients will pay for this package. The package value is what it would cost your client if they were going to purchase all of the products in this package a la carte. Once you're happy with the package price, click Save. If you have a lot of packages to create, I recommend that you create your largest package first then to create the remaining packages, you can duplicate and modify your first package, and it'll be much faster doing it this way. In the top right corner, you can assign a minimum order value to this price list. This will allow your clients to check out only when their cart has reached the order minimum. Clicking Assign to Gallery will show you a list of galleries that are tagged with the same shoot type as this price list. You can also view all folders and galleries. Here, you can assign a price list to a folder or directly to a gallery. If you're not ready to assign this price list yet, you can just click Save at the bottom left of the price list and assign it to a gallery later. To assign a price list to a gallery that has already been uploaded, navigate to the gallery, then click on Settings and click on Store. Toggle the Store option on 
and then choose from one of your available price lists. If you intend on selling digital downloads and your price list has digital products on it, then the downloading option should be toggled off under the digital download section. On the access tab, enter your client's name and email and then click share to send them their gallery.